What's going on, guys? Coach Jose here with Allison, Coach Allison from Healthy Habits for Her. So uh, we figured we'd make a quick video to help you, give you tips to help you survive uh, the holidays. We've got Christmas, Christmas Eve, um, New Year's coming up. Thank God. So we, uh, we thought we'd make a quick video on things that we do ourselves that help us kind of keep from wrecking our nutritional, go uh, our nutritional goals, keep from wrecking our progress mm -hmm. that we've made all year long, or even... Um, your continued progress as you're moving forward. All right, so let's talk about this. So Allison, you tend to host a lot of parties. So what if you're on a nutritional track, but you're hosting an event for the holidays? How do you manage, what's one of your tips to manage staying on track and not wrecking yourself if you're the host? If I'm the host? If you're the host, you're cooking things up, you're expecting the people to bring things. Well, if I'm the host, then I that's extra good because I can control um, like what I'm cooking. So I'll make sure that if I'm prepared, I'll do all the fun, traditionally fun stuff. But I'll also make sure that there are things um, like pro extra things that I know I can eat. Yeah. Or I'm not just eating like sides that are full of carbs or all the desserts. Okay. okay. Not to mention I'll plan that morning personally my own nutrition. Okay. How would that look? Uh, that would probably normally look, um, well, high on protein, which I feel like we say that all the time, but yes. that's kind of the truth. And yes. I tell all my clients that, um, so high on protein, if I plan to drink or to enjoy all the fun holiday food, then my carbs and fat are going to try to stay, I'll try to keep them as low as I, as I can too. So okay. high protein, low fat and carbs. So I can blow that out of the water in the <laughs> evening. <laughs> So I, I like that. So if I was so if I was a, a guest coming to your event, right? Yes. So let's look at the other flip side. So your event, let's say it happens in the evening, mm -hmm. early afternoon, maybe evening. I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna run through my morning like normal. If I work out or train in the morning, I'm gonna work out and train in the morning. Um, I am most definitely look. I I knowing that the certain kind of foods that are gonna be there are gonna be high in carbs and high in fat. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've got to make sure that I'm eating plenty of protein because what tends to happen is a lot of these appetizers and snack foods and side dishes, dips, the majority, yeah, dips. the majority of that is very heavy processed carbs. And I'm not saying that that's bad, but prepping yourself for that. So what I like to do is wake up, go through my normal morning routine, drink coffee, um, work out, but I start loading myself up with protein. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make sure I eat protein because even if I'm over on protein, by the time I get to the event, as long as it's lean protein, you're not going to gain weight. Right. You, you can't, there's research has shown it time and time again. I don't know how many times to say this. You can overeat on protein, lean protein, and not gain weight. If anything, you put on a little bit of muscle along the way, especially if you're new to eating that much protein. I agree. So I, I'm going to load myself up on protein, keep my carbs when I'm eating on my own before the event on a very, very low, bare minimum, mm -hmm. so that I have room to have a few alcoholic beverages. Right. And I have room to have a few of these snacks. Yes. Um, so that's tip number one. Yeah. You know, load up on protein. You need more protein for your protein. Yes. So. Because I think people would do the opposite. They would not eat anything all day and go into a party with no calories really and yeah. think that that's a better choice and, and that's not it's not i'd rather you be over on protein if anything just protein itself because you're going into if you're going in hungry mm -hmm. your body is low on energy and it's gonna crave those foods those yeah. carbs it's like because your body knows it's quick energy yes you know so it's gonna crave these things that you shouldn't have too many of now so the dessert comes around let's say you're at mama's house so dessert comes around mama had made this your favorite dessert you That's know, funny. <laughs> how do you handle not having it or how are you going to eat that without hurting mama's feelings? Or maybe your auntie Anne's feelings, maybe yeah, your grandma's so like, mama feelings. Mama does not cook so very maybe well, it's a very, so it's maybe it's happening. your family member who cooked your favorite, favorite, favorite meal, favorite, favorite dessert, dessert, growing you know, up. Growing okay. up. So how, you, how would you handle that? Well, I'm a big girl. If I, well, first of all, if I really want it. If it's important to me yeah. and I only eat it once a year, only get it once a year, then enjoy it. So I'll probably have one or two slices of really, because that would probably be pecan pie for pecan me. Pecan pie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So I'll have a couple of slices. 
Um, I won't bring it into the following weekend. Yeah. You know, or I used to eat pecan pie for breakfast. That doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> All right. But I think with, with me, I, I'll have some and I won't take any home. Yes. Good. So I'll have some and I won't take any home. Mm -hmm. Going back into like, I, I know the things I practice as a host. I try my darnest to make sure nothing is left. Yeah. I, I send it away. Mm -hmm. I'm like, y'all take as much as y'all want, except the protein. I hold yeah. on to as much of the protein as possible. Yeah. But side dishes, desserts. I'm like, if, if, if I got friends and family that show up with kids, I'm like, no, give this to the I kids. I mean, another take way them. to handle that is the things that you want to leave, have people bring those. Yeah. Side dishes and pies and all that. That way, it's they're bringing their dish back. Mm -hmm. So everything that's in there is probably going with them too. And the same thing, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna provide a side dish, I'm gonna make sure one of the things I provide is something that works with my goals. That yeah. I, I've said it before. I know majority maybe may not eat from this tray, but I'm gonna eat a lot from this tray. Yeah. You know? and, well, I've gotten it where people just know. Well, if Allison's coming, something healthy's coming, and it doesn't. It's not boring. It's not celery sticks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and people end up actually liking it. Good. So I don't know. Okay. What else do you have? So we got. Try not to have as many uh, bad leftovers if you're hosting. Yes. Bring if you're not hosting and you're providing, you're coming, you're your guest. Bring stuff that you know will work for you. Yes. Keep your protein high in the very beginning. Yes. Avoid fasting going into a hunger state. Yes. When you arrive to the event, um, <clears throat> alcoholic drinks. So that, you know they're going to be there. What is your go-to uh, and why on the alcohol? I'm like usually vodka. Vodka. Okay. Yeah, and soda water or something that I'm creating myself. Okay, you yeah. bring if the if you you're not too sure if they have vodka available, you'll bring your own bottle. Or yeah, or I won't drink. Or you won't drink. But normally, I mean, I well, I feel like normally people maybe oh gosh, normally people have vodka. Yeah. I mean, or I'll, maybe I'll ask, you know, find out. But for me, if I don't love it, I'm not wasting it. That's, so if I'm gonna good. go to an event. And they have alcohol, but like I will not touch white wine ever. It gives yeah. me a stomach ache. I don't like the way it tastes. I'm not going to drink it just to drink it. So if I don't love it, I don't do it. Good. Okay. For me, it's I'll, I'll bring my, a bottle of my own Good. favorite whiskey or bourbon. And I, I know I may not uh, track it, but I'll know I'll have about two or three drinks. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the majority of my carbs. Again, even when I get to the event. Over half of my plate is going to be protein because mm -hmm. I want to I want to get full on protein and not have very much room to have a lot of these high carb foods or that will blow my macros out of the way, which also goes takes us into a point. Do do you track during these events? Do you drive your Do you track your food intake during an event? I will track it up. To, I'm track. I will track it up to the event. And this is the same thing I feel like I try to implement on the weekends too. So the stuff that we're talking about, you guys, this is the stuff you can use on the weekends. And I feel like it's not just holiday party yeah. tips. A lot of us are really busy right now. So maybe we're ordering out more. We're going to eat at restaurants more. It's the same thing. So for instance, on Friday, I knew I was going out to dinner on Friday. I was going to drink and I was going to eat um, a, probably a lot of sushi mm -hmm. that has a lot of rice. So I tracked up until that point. Because I don't feel like I can get an accurate tracking. Exactly. What, you know, there. Yeah. So I knew, I mean, I entered that dinner at like 125 grams of protein. And I knew I only needed to, for me, I needed only 25 more. And I was at three grams of carbs. So I knew I had plenty of room for yeah. rice and alcohol. Yeah, because you planned for that event. Because I planned for it. So if you're tracking, don't let that one event of not tracking stress you out. So it's just one, one time. If you've mm -hmm. done a really good job at tracking up until that point, one day or one event isn't going to wreck your progress. Right. Okay, so that's fine. Give yourself, cut yourself some slack. Enjoy the moment. Heck, may not, don't even follow any of these tips and just enjoy the moment. Really, if it comes down to that, enjoy it and then just get ready to move on ap after that event the following day and you're back to normal, back on track. Keeping in mind that you will po possibly face a bit of discomfort and bloating the next day, but it's a temporary thing based off of the things you understood you consumed yes. at the event. You know, understanding that those things came with some consequences that you 
were willing to face and you understood and it's not wrecking your progress. You're just going to have to do some cleanup work right afterwards. I agree. I think you know? mindset is a big part of all this. Yeah. So it's not a guilt trip. Don't feel bad because you have that bite of, of pie or that cake. Just enjoy the moment knowing that you have that discipline and that, um, and the consistency ready the next day mm -hmm. just to get back on track. So again, enjoy the holidays, guys. Eat your protein. All right. That's just like number one through 10. We can't express that enough. Keep your carbs low up until the event. Yeah. Bring the dishes that you know you, you will enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy things in moderation. And when you're at the event, fill your plate up with protein first before you end up consuming anything else. Yeah, I agree. So, all right, guys. Enjoy the holidays. Keep, keep, uh, keep up with our groups. We've got some new things in store for 2021. Yeah.